first video of 2015. Ah! So I'm in my mom's room just because she has the best lighting in the house and it just like looks nicer than my room currently. We're starting 2015 with a mixed girl video. It has been so long. I mean, it has been long. <laughs> I'm not sure I even know how to do this right now. But anyway, I wanted to start the year off with this video because I think it's a big deal. And I also, you probably noticed, kind of changed the title of my little series. If I have a topic that is directly related to just females, then I'll call it mixed girl problems. But I was just getting so many comments and things from viewers and subscribers that were men. And I just felt like I don't want to just limit myself to one gender. Like, I think all mixed people experience these problems. Um, I just happen to be a girl that experiences them. <laughs> so, uh, for right now, unless someone can think of a cooler, more creative name, because I wish I could think of one, um, mixed people problems. Another video of my hair not really being done. Okay, so the main thing I want to touch on today is your multiracial identity. I think I get Oh my god, I get a lot of emails and comments about that and people being very like insecure about their identity. Is the lighting changing? The sun is like going in and out. People talking about their insecurities with like knowing themselves and like their race being such a factor in who they are. I guess all these videos kind of make it seem like race is a huge deal. And in today's world, we have to be honest, race issues clearly still exist. So it is kind of a big deal, but I want to make this video about the fact that you are more than just your race. You know, I feel like this goes against all my other videos, but like, I totally embrace my mixedness. I love it, I love it, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not ashamed of being mixed at all. I live, oh my god, I love it. But, I don't want people to watch my videos and feel like they need to box themselves and be identified as a mixed person or um, limit themselves to just being known by their race. Don't be defined by your ethnicity. I think that is like the main thing I needed to say, that sentence. Don't be defined by your ethnicity. I just think we like kind of put ourselves in little boxes sometimes. Getting to know yourself and self-development and self-growth. I mean, I'm still learning it. I'm still going through it. I just turned 21 on January 5th. Ah, um, scary. I'm in my 20s officially. That kind of makes me want to scream. Anyway, you're so much more than the color of your skin. I mean, like, your personality and who you are and what you do and your passions in life matter so much more than your ethnicity. Like, I feel like, like I said, this goes against all of my other videos and like whatever, whatever. And I'm telling you, be proud of your mixedness. Don't ever shame it, but be proud of you. You know, you as an individual, you as a person. I just feel like a lot of people feel like they need to like prove themselves. And don't get me wrong, I think I kind of went through that phase a little bit. Um, in high school especially, like I just felt like I needed to prove that I was mixed, like constantly trying to like bring up a way that would like let it be known that I was mixed or something. I don't even know, you know, like simple little things. And I see it all the time. I see mixed people do this all the time on Twitter and Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. They like feel like it's necessary to like define themselves by their mixedness. And it's just like, if you just embraced who you were as a person and like your interests and your dislikes and your attitude towards life and like all the above like life would be so much easier like I don't know it just once you just move on from the topic of just discussing your race all day every day and like trying to prove who you are by your ethnicity you will be a lot happier I'm telling you now honestly I feel like it's just out of an insecure area in your life I mean and that's totally fine like it's totally like I said I think everyone uh mixed people in general kind of go through it like you just feel like your racial identity needs to be known and um make your identity known like who you are like casey me who is casey not who is this mixed girl casey i just don't want to be boxed in and just contained into just being mixed because we are all so much more than that like if you get to know you if you get comfortable with yourself as a person uh, it's a process. It's definitely a process. It doesn't happen overnight. But I think as a mixed person in this world, which a lot of us are, a lot of us are, you kind of just realize like the, what's the word? The braveness, I guess you have to have. I don't know if that's the word I want to use, but you kind of have to be a strong individual to be mixed. I don't want to sit here and play victim. I'm not doing that at all. I'm just stating a simple fact, point, whatever, that you have to have to be brave to be mixed in this world. And But that's the thing, like, you have to just embrace it. Like, just take it. It's gonna have its downfalls. I think every race, really, though, here's the thing with my videos. I think I'm starting to realize, like, I make a lot of these videos about mixed 
people problems and things. And I'm like, this happens with so many races, not just mixed people. Anyway, before this video gets to be like 20 minutes long, um, because I can talk about this for days. Just, yeah, just, I feel like I keep repeating myself because it's kind of hard to put in words what I'm thinking, but if you do get what I'm saying, then please comment below and let me know that you get what I'm saying, but know that you're more than your race. Like, don't be defined by your ethnicity or the stereotypes that come with your ethnicities. Definitely went through that in high school. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely felt like I needed to prove myself every chance I got, but you don't, you don't. Dude, you have no obligation to anyone, like, just be yourself, just own who you are. Like, being true to yourself is a cliche term and you hear it everywhere, but like, oh my God, it's so important. It's so important to just be true to yourself. Okay, words of wisdom by Casey are over. <sighs> I feel like there was a lot I wanted to say and it was really hard to say it. Every mixed girl video ever is like that. If anyone has any more topics they want me to discuss in the mixed life, then I would be happy to comment those down below for me and I will try to do them. I miss doing these videos so much, but I kind of like ran out of things to say and I was like kind of reading over comments and just kind of like absorbing what you guys were saying about my videos about being mixed and I was like hmm I feel like a lot of people feel like their identity is being mixed and it's definitely an aspect of your identity but it's not your whole identity. Okay. I'm gonna shut up now. I also thought I should just mention real quick, um, I don't know when this video will be up, but January 10th, I will be heading back to Florida. Peace out, cold weather in New Jersey. Whew, I'm over it. I'm over these sweaters. I'm over all this. Another little side note I wanna mention. I was kinda considering doing like monthly favorites in my like beauty playlist on my channel. Um, just because like I could have things to talk about. I mean, they wouldn't just be all beauty, it'd be kind of like random and beauty, but if anyone cares or wants to see that, let me know so I can make those videos. Um, they would just come out in the beginning of every month. So yeah, let me know. And um, yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.